Hello everyone, this is Worm. Today I'm going to be playing, oh man, Dark by Mikhail, Michael? I want to say Michael? I'm going to say I'm British. I'm not. Um, I'm going to turn up my volume because I can't hear anything. Uh, oh, I don't know if there's noise here yet. After that accident, you went into a coma. This place represents all your sorrows, worries, and fears. Try to get out of here as quickly as possible. Before you go completely mad. You have eight minutes. Press F to turn on the flashlight. Um, I guess that means press F to pay respects. Also, I'm going to assume that means I cannot use my handy dandy controller. I'm going to set that to the side now. Man, I love controllers. I want to use them always and not never while playing video games. But I'm not going to judge this on that. I'm guessing that means it's okay. I can use my mouse. I've got eight minutes. I'm running. I'm not. I'm walking. There is no run. There's no jump. Left and right don't seem to do anything. Well, they probably do, just not at the same time that I'm holding down W. There is noise. Sounds like some wind is going. Turn that up a bit. I'm about to run into a tree. I'm following the path because that just seems smart. I feel like I've seen these assets before. Not in a game I've played, but in someone else's random horror games. It's primarily the way that the grass is growing. Okay. Where's the spooks? Give me the spooks. Give me the spooks. Give me my sorrow. I really don't know which direction I'm going in, so I'm just going in a direction that has a path. This path's- it's behind you. Okay. Am I supposed to look at it? I'm assuming not. It's loud. It makes a big buzz. Oh, there's the path. I almost lost it for a moment. I think not looking at it is definitely scarier than going, it's behind you and me turning around and looking at it. Cause nothing is as scary as the human mind. Oh, path is gone. Path is gone. There's no path anymore. Uh, let's see, can I find another path? Shift still does nothing. Crouch does nothing. Oh, crouch does something. <laughs> it does something bad. That was me jumping. Sorry about that. There's a cute noise got me. Alright, now we gotta know that there are cute noises. Fuck you! Okay! Thanks! I'm doing my best here! Oh, I think there's a battery power problem, but I can't really see it because it's not quite on screen. Alright. Noises. Oh, a jump scare. A lady with her face on. Am I doing anything? I can't tell if I'm actually supposed to be doing something. Yep. Oh, this this path also ended. Because I haven't found anything to collect. I haven't found any of my sorrows. Unless someone telling me that they want to fuck me is a sorrow, which in my case it is not. Um, I haven't found any batteries. Oh, I found the end of the world! That was a invisible wall. Oh, breathing. Got a Miles Upshur this. God, Outlast. Why are they such noisy breathers? All of the protagonists. Or is that someone else's breathing? And that's what's spooky about it. Ah, Juon. The cover art from Juon from forever ago. Like, the first redo for American audiences cover art. I don't think that is legal for you to use in your game. Also, I think that the first one was a really gritty bad picture of Angela Orozco from Silent Hill, but it was so pixelated I couldn't really tell. God, just... 
Mm -mm, be quieter. It's not scary, it's startling. Avoid? I don't know what that said. My microphone was in front of it. <laughs> like, I am tempted to turn around and look at stuff, but I'm not going to. I do also want a microphone. Uh, not a microphone, I have a microphone. That was horrible. Oh my god. Not scary, just bad. Okay, there's that person's face again. That is not Angela Rosco, I was wrong. Um, I think the scariest thing so far is the fact that I keep seeing my cursor in front of me and thinking it's a person. Like, there's just a little pale dot. No, wait, no, no, that's just a speck on the screen. There's a speck on the screen and I keep thinking it's a person and that's scarier than the game. Because this is just annoying. <laughs> I've probably lost because I haven't found anything and I lost the path a long time ago. Wait, is that something lit up? What the hecky? Oh, it's an invisible wall. But I'm curious about that thing. I want to get to there. What is that? It looks like something actually interesting. Something that's not just a jump scare or a horrible noise. But I guess a horrible noise is also a jump scare. Deet, deet, deet. I did turn down the volume. Hopefully that will help you guys be able to stand this. Like, is the eight minute mark just how long your battery lasts? Because I am not finding anything to do in this game. I really was hoping that that weird rectangle was a thing. Oh, I'm in the dark now. Okay. Do I need to keep moving at all? I don't know if I have to. The flashlight does still work. It's just very dim now. So hopefully you guys can see that there is stuff happening on the screen. Because yeah, I am still moving. I have not run into any invisible walls. I have not found anything interesting. And I have not... Ah, a scary face. Okay. Honestly, that noise is the scariest because I think that is the computer breaking. I did find an invisible wall. There's a tree. I think there are like three trees in this game. I'm miserable. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's after I turned the sound down. I'm only having it loud enough that you guys can hear the, the air effects. And then that noise is that loud. Am I miserable because I'm not scared? Or doing anything productive with my time? Honestly? Oh, it's an even bigger picture of that face. Yep. Mm hmm Got it. And then it closes out. Okay, because I was about to say, honestly, I'm just going to stand here still and just see what happens, but I don't think there's an, an actual game. Um, so, yeah, thank you for joining me. Have a good day.